Since 1989, Berkshire Baseball has been making a tremendous impact on our community. What started out as just a few buddies from high school, trying to hang on to their glory days, grew into something much bigger, more impactful than any of them could have ever imagined. This group of young men grew and matured, started to have families, and they began to understand that the knowledge that they learned through the years had to be passed on to a younger generation. They wanted to share that knowledge through baseball with their own life lessons and everything that they've been through to enjoy baseball was the one thing that made everything make sense. It was the circle of life. They understood that the only significance in one's life is the impact it has on others. And they wanted to make a difference. And what better way to make a difference in a child's life than to play a game that teaches you that there are big things on the horizon. Big things in the game, but also off the game. Helping others, like cups of compassion. Helping people that are less fortunate, that may not be able to eat a meal every day, get something warm in their stomachs. Berkshire Baseball does this, and they help thousands of people with Cups of Compassion, but they also help get equipment to third world nations in Latin America. Things that we take for granted like gloves, hats, bats. Kids in third world countries, they don't have the luxuries that we do. And how about a special needs child spending a day getting baseball gloves, baseball caps, lunch, and a total day devoted to teach them the game of baseball, instructing them what it is to be part of a team. It's always been about throwing, catching, and hitting and running. But for these kids, this one day they got to feel special because they were part of something that is bigger than them. And that's the game of baseball. Berkshire Baseball understands this. Berkshire Baseball has always understood this and they use the game of baseball to give back. They give back in so many different ways and it shows on the faces of those they serve. It doesn't matter if you're young or old, boy or girl, anyone understands what being special is and what being needed is. And Berkshire Baseball, it's in their DNA to do that, to give back. They also give back to Breast Cancer Support Services of Berks County, where the kids get to wear pink. And you think, well, a young man might be a little embarrassed to wear pink. But when these kids know why they're wearing it, they want to show it off. They want everybody to know that they are supporting brave survivors of breast cancer. Because after all, a lot of these kids, they have a grandparent or a mother or a friend that are survivors. And some, unfortunately, might have lost someone. So the awareness of this day and raising funds so much more important than the game of baseball, but it's because of that game where they get to learn to give a little bit of themselves to make sure that others learn. It's just like our service people. Everyone talks about how brave they are, but they come back wounded. So they had a home run derby to honor Keystone Wounded Warriors and to donate the proceeds to their cause. In addition to that, they got to wear camouflage jerseys. 
Now, some of the younger kids, they might not really understand what war is all about, but they understand what camouflage represents, and they understand what service is. And that's why it's so fantastic that this nonprofit gives back to so many other nonprofits. And they get to learn about what it is that they're donating to and why it is special. And by doing that, they feel special because they're part of Berkshire baseball. They're part of a game. And sometimes you can look good playing that game in camouflage, especially when it's for a great cause. But Berkshire baseball doesn't stop there. They have 118 acres of land and they held a cap 5k for the children's alopecia project a hundred people walked and ran all over the facility baseball games were going on and brave kids living with hair loss got to run and walk with their friends and family at the Berks County Youth Recreation Facility it was a special day because it was the first time anything like this was held and the great thing is, it's not going to be the last. Because Berkshire Baseball will continue to give back. Because like I said earlier, it's in their DNA. So they invite any nonprofit group to come on down. The root has always been Berkshire. And the innovation that it takes to utilize anyone's God-given talent, it's always about the growth of what you can do. And when you grow something, you need to have that vision for that better future that you want to create. That vision is what is in 118 acres of land because it's really so much bigger than that. It's really all about our community. And Steve Jobs said, when you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way that it is. And that your life is to live your life inside the world and try not to get in too much trouble and maybe get an education and get a job and make some money and have a family. But life can be a lot broader than that when you realize one simple thing. And that is that everything around us that we call life was made up by people that are no smarter than you. And you can build your own thing. You can build your own life that other people can live in. So build a life. Don't live one. Build one. Here's to the crazy ones. The misfits. The rebels. The troublemakers. The round pegs in the square holes. The ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them, because they change things. They push the human race forward. And while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. How's that? Introducing. Big Vision Foundation.